Hi, it's Margaret from Let's Learn to Sew. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over this feet that will most commonly come with a new sewing machine purchase. The first foot is your all-purpose or multi-purpose foot. And this foot will usually already be on the machine when you purchase it. It has some guides here, and it has an opening here so that you can do a decorative stitch or a zigzag stitch and your straight stitch. It has some guides here to use so that you can line up and make sure that you have a nice straight stitch. Next foot is your zipper foot. This is the foot that you'll use whenever you're sewing zippers onto a project. It'll attach on the left or the right, and then you'll want to make sure that you adjust your needle to come down on either the left or the right side. This is your overcast foot, and it's used for sewing an overcast. The overcast stitch is a nice stitch because it allows you to put a edge along your fabric to prevent any type of raveling. This is your blind hem foot. It's used to do a blind hem and it does have a guide that comes down the middle. You'll line that guide up with the fold of your blind hem on your garment and it'll allow you to keep it nice and straight. Now this is an applique foot or a decorative stitch foot. The area here is much larger than it is on your multi-purpose foot. And you also have a little bit more of a swing area here for the needle. That allows you to set your stitch width larger so that you can do bigger decorative stitches. This area here being wider also allows you to see the stitch out and it allows the foot to glide easier along an applique if you're going along the edge of it. This is a button foot, and the button foot allows you to sew buttons on your sewing machine. Once you get the hang of how to use this foot, you'll never go back to stitching your buttons on by hand. And finally, this is a buttonhole foot. This is the foot you'll use whenever you need to sew buttonholes onto a garment. The way it works is this goes back and forth, and you adjust it for the size of the button you're putting in. And then you just snug it down, attach it to your machine, and set your buttonhole design for the one that you want. Some machines have one, some have four or five. And then what it'll do is, is it stitches out. This will move back and forth, forming your buttonhole. Now this is a one-step buttonhole, but there are machines that have three and four step. If you think you're going to do a lot of projects where you're going to be putting buttonholes in and you haven't already purchased your machine, I would suggest looking for one that has a one-step buttonhole like this. I hope you found this video useful. And if you'd like more information on how to use the feet that came with your machine, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our blog at letslearntosew.com. If you'd like more information on how to use your sewing machine more effectively, then be sure to sign up for our sewing machine bootcamp. I'll put a link below in the description so that you can find it easily.